Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Elder Bill Ewan of New Haven. We are in our final session today in our study of Psalm 42. I pray and trust this study has been profitable and encouraging to you. We have seen throughout this psalm the existence of a raging battle within the mind and soul of the psalmist between forces of encouragement and hope and the forces of discouragement and depression. Let us read together the last two verses of this psalm, verses 10 and 11. As with a sword in my bones, my enemies reproached thee, while they say daily unto me, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. The pain expressed in verse 10 is compared to a sword in my bones. Ouch, that hurts. So what is the ultimate remedy for pain and depression? This psalmist, who had shown earlier a tendency to focus on self, now takes the necessary and indeed essential step of addressing himself, challenging himself, and encouraging himself. But isn't this focusing on self the very problem the psalmist had developed in the first place? There is one very important distinction. The psalmist here is becoming proactive rather than reactive. He is, with God's help and guidance, of course, giving himself a spiritual pep talk in order to challenge his present state of depression. His soul, his emotions, had been getting the upper hand on him. Instead of listening to himself and the sad circumstances surrounding him, he is now actively addressing and challenging himself and pointing himself to God with the confidence that his God has now become, quote, the health of my countenance and my God, unquote. King David encountered this very same situation in 1 Samuel chapter 30 when he and his men returned to Ziklag only to discover that the Amalekites had invaded Ziklag and carried their wives and children away captives. David and his men wept bitterly. Verse 6 of 1 Samuel 30 records, quote, And David was greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. There you have it, even when facing by yourself the most difficult circumstances, take the initiative like David and the author of Psalm 42 did to encourage yourself in the Lord your God. That objective is easy to state, but very difficult to accomplish in everyday life. It can become virtually impossible if a person allows himself or herself to become isolated from friends of like precious faith, most likely friends from your local church fellowship. Do you have a prayer partner or a trusted Christian friend from your local church in whom you can confide if you find that life's circumstances are threatening to overwhelm you? This is one of the most valuable reasons for abiding in fellowship in a local Bible-believing church. So I encourage you to continue in the good habit of remaining faithfully in a local church fellowship. If we do that, then we can find ourselves able to state verse 11 of this psalm confidently and truthfully that God has indeed become the health of our countenance and our God. Amen. You've been listening to Elder Bill Ewan of New Haven, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.